I would say as of January of 2023, adding more carbs did not serve me. It did not help me. It actually um, set me back a little bit. Happy February, everyone. <laughs>
eating an entire box of cereal or eating a whole thing of takeout or whatever, like even if it's not drastic, I can tell differences in my health from doing that. So my, my guess is the sugar, the seed oils, um, and just like the gluten and the grains that were in there. Issues that I was having, I was having a lot of acne. You can actually, you might be able to see a little bit. I, I'm healing up again, finally. But like I had a new breakout, at, like every day I noticed the different spot that was breaking out. Um, so that was a problem. And my stomach was just not settled. It was always kind of crampy and bloated. Um, and then I really did notice like from eating all the nuts and all the dairy, um, I noticed major inflammation in my joints, like all of my joints, um, like, like my toes, my knees, my back, my back pain has been higher, significantly higher this month than it has been for a while. So that is also a huge drawback. Some things that I'd like to change going into February are I'm really hoping to prioritize my fasting. I have been um, listening to the Fasting Method podcast by Megan Ramos and um, Nadia Paduana, and it has been so neat. I started at the very beginning of their podcast and have just been binge listening for like a, a week or two. And it's been really educational and helpful to understand like time restricted eating, um, how many fasts you can do in a week. Um, but I, I'm excited to kind of keep listening to them and like just just kind of fine tune my fasting. And then I want to keep my food super simple. To be honest, like meat and eggs and you know maybe some vegetables when I'm feeling like I want some vegetables. Um, I just want to keep it simple. I don't want to complicate things. It, keto is not complicated. I just need to keep it simple. Like I said earlier, I am wanting to add a little bit more walking with to my yoga. Yoga has been super beneficial and great for my flexibility, but I do kind of feel like I need to get some more movement in my um, in my life right now. Something that I didn't do in January was weigh in every week and post on Instagram and Facebook. I think this month I'm hoping to implement a weigh in Wednesday where I just check in like I did all year last year or most of the year last year. Um, and I'm gonna, that it'll just be another level of accountability. So some things that I'm excited that I did this month were I finished my first 72 hour fast. I am proud of that. And I will be sharing the story of that, I believe in the next week or two. Um, so you'll see that very soon. Another thing I'm very excited about this month is a friend of mine at church and I have um, started a keto support group. We had our first um, meeting last week and um, it's just really exciting. We're going to try to do, meet twice a month and I'm excited to have that another level of accountability added to my life and to be able to encourage other people who are trying to do keto and need the encouragement as well. So I'm really excited to be a part of that. All right, and there you have it. And that is my update for January of 2023. And um, I hope that it was helpful to kind of get a little um, glimpse into what my life looked like this month. And my hope is to continue to do a monthly update at the end of each month um, and just kind of share with you how I'm doing as far as my um, weight loss goals. I have 15 pounds left to go to my uh, 60, 60 pound goal from 2022. I hope this was helpful for you. I am looking forward to see what the next month brings. And as always, I hope wherever you are, you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon, friends.